Well, good morning. Join me this morning back on the banks of the Relief Channel for another early morning session. Um, set the alarm this morning, 2 a.m. Was out the house, at the house by half two, um, and I was on the peg. You know, sort by half past three, sort, sort, sorting out. Reason being, it's going to be very, very warm. Um, so I did an early session yesterday. Had one bream, um, which which was a good result. That came out to be really warm. And it's forecast to be 30 degrees, just over 30 degrees today. So I don't do heat. I'm built for speed, but I, I don't do heat. So I uh, get out really early, just grab a few hours, then sort of 10 o'clock, I'll be away. So we'll quickly go through what we're doing. Very similar to what I've used before. It's the 13 foot cadence distance feeder. Got that with an ounce and a half glass tip. CS5000 reel. You know by now, just use a helicopter rig for all my feeder work on here. Two stop beads, quick change. Twizzled loop and a snap swivel. And I've got a 40 gram simple feeder there. I've got 016 Colmic King down to a size 12 Matrix MX B3 hook. Um, reason being, I'm using five dead maggots. You know, these are not shy fish as such. Um, and I've had most of my fish this season on dead maggot. So with a size 12, could fish five, fish six, whatever takes your fancy, but I normally start with five. Put six on this time. Start with a bunch of dead maggots all the time. There we go. And just put some dead maggots in with the ground bait. Give them plenty to go up. These short sessions only need a point of dead maggots. And there you go. Packed up, ready to deposit out into the swim. Don't know if you'll be able to see it, but we'll get it back out there. Fishing just past middle. So fishing just past middle. Right, there we go. So like I say, I started early. Um, started off, I put out six big the Preston bait up feeders, the 28 gram, um, packed full of ground bait, which today is I'd left over from yesterday. So it's Bait Tech, uh, that is Pro Natural Bream Dark and Max Feeder. And I've got some just some two mil pellets in there, log like size, just a just a mix, it was left over from yesterday. So it was dark when I started, um, had a few quick casts, like I normally do. And what I do when I'm fishing in dark, don't bother sort of focusing on tip with the head torch, just slacking the drag off. And um, on one particular instance I cast out, slacking the drag off. And uh, lo and behold, click, click. And I was into one, probably sort of after about 40 minutes. So that was a nice start. I haven't had any more indications as yet. But like I've always said before, if you come on the channel and catch a bream every single time that you go out, you'll be one very happy angler. Well, I had one yesterday and I've had one today. 
What makes today's very special though is the bream I've caught today is actually my 50th bream of the season. So we're only just literally one month in and I've had 50 bream, so I'm more than happy with that already. Have I got a target? I don't know. I'd probably like to catch 100 bream, that'd be nice. Um, did have a target of catching an 11 pounder. So far the biggest this season is £9.2, uh, the one yesterday was £8.6, one I've got today is probably just over £6, so in relief channel terms it's a baby. Like I say, we'll, we'll sort of leave it, leaving it out there now for around about 10 minutes at a time. Just to see, and keeping an eye on the water, see what we can see. A few bubbles coming up, sort of just across, about sort of 11 o'clock. So hopefully we might get another couple before that sun comes up. But if we don't, we've got one in the bag. So I'm going to sit back, just have a listen. Hardly hear anything, the birds chattering. Beautiful. Absolute bliss. Well, apart from that uh, bream, sort of as it was starting to get light, I've only had one other bite. Um, tried worm, tried maggot, gone a little bit further out, gone to the right, gone to the left, come a little bit closer. It's not had uh, any indications of... Uh, I've not seen any fish move, seen the odd bubble, um, but not seen any fish roll. But, like I say, we've got one in the bag, which is number 50, so it's not all in, been in vain. I mean, I'm in the, still in the shade a little bit because of the old Norfolk reeds, but that sun's starting to come up, you feel it warming up already. I've just changed over now to a window feeder. Put a load more dead maggot in, just plugged it off with a little bit of ground bait. Just see if that makes any difference. You know, you just gotta keep ringing the changes, just trying something a little bit different just to see if you can get an instant response. As yet, nothing else has been uh, willing to feed. So it's, um, it's a beautiful morning. I mean, it's not a cloud in the sky. That's going to be an absolute scorcher. around about 10 o'clock I'll be at home and I should be sat with the fan on having 40 winks but we'll keep keep sort of going for the next couple of hours just see if we get another indication so all you want is a liner or you know a couple of little indications just to let you know that they're nosing around the area we've not given up all hope just yet well there we go 
not a bad fish for the morning and that is number 50 so we're 50 not out we'll put this fish back put the net to dry probably sit for about half hour or so and pack the gear away and get off home before it gets too warm so me and number 50 we'll catch you next time on the bank Oosh. Well, it always happened. I put that fish back. And I thought, Do you know what? I'll, I'll just finish off. And the rod went. Decent fish. Come on. Come on. Don't be silly. Oh. Oh. These hours, I'm stuck in the mud. And these hours. Oh. Oh, dark fish. Dark fish. Oh. Bear with me. I only just hooked by the looks of it. Didn't take a lot of unhooking. Whew. So I just literally put that fish back, put the net to dry, turned round, and the rod had gone. So Oh, that's a dark, dark fish. Oh, see if we can hold them up. Beautiful fish, look at that. Absolute gorgeous bream. I'm all out of breath. Beautiful fish. Number 51. Oh, shit. That, beautiful. This is why I love fishing the relief channel absolutely sort of out the blue you can just get a fish takes you by surprise brilliant well if that's the last one i'll catch you next time on the bank oh say so, i'll catch you next time on the bank Oosh.